What's up folks, how we doing? Thanks for checking out the video. In this one we're going to go over Base44. And if you haven't heard of Base44 yet, this is a brand new tool. It is a build it now, no code application developer. So if you've ever dreamed about building your own application for iOS or Android or a uh, program for web development, check out Base44. If you don't know code or you're a little bit shaky, um, even if you want to kind of reverse engineer the process of developing a code. If you don't know where to start, you don't know what to focus on, um, start at the end and work your way back with Base44. So what I'm going to talk about in this one today is just a general overview of what Base44 is and how to use it. Um, so let's go through it. I am logged in here to Base44. Um, this is kind of like your start page. And it's super easy to get started. All you have to do is explain um, what would you like to build today. So you can say, I want to build a um, an application for selling businesses, which is what Exit Plan is. I want to um, build an application for, um, say, a social media app or a image share app or a CRM, I can do that here, or even a travel planning app, itineraries, whole nine yards, environmental, entertainment, health and wellness, or e-commerce. It's all here. It's all super easy. So I would describe, let's say, um, create an application for a restaurant make it have a menu and the ability to add menu items into a cart for purchase I'm going to say include delivery or pickup instructions. And um, let's see. Give it the option to save favorite orders. All right. So we've asked it to uh, create an application for a restaurant. Make it have a menu and the ability to add menu items into a cart for purchase. Include delivery or pickup instructions um, in checkout. Give it the option to save favorite orders. Now, like I mentioned, this is um, what we're doing is we are reverse engineering an application, right? We are having base 44 build an application to our specs, and then we're going to have to go back through this and connect the pages, um, dial in the correct information dial in the logos and credit card processing and all that, right? Okay, so now we're going to go to search to its thinking or creating my app. And as you can see, it is framing everything out over here, which is really, really nice. Editing menu item. And it's going to take about four or five minutes to go through and, um, you know, do the color pad palette, the app organization, design language, key features. But what we're going to be left with is a framework of an application that can be used for a restaurant, any restaurant. Now, also, if you want to try building one of these on your own, um, check out the link in the description below. Um, I'll link Base44 for you. Um, there is a... Uh, free sign up with you know limited capabilities but it allows you to kind of get your feet wet with the application and once you start to build and grow um, you can update your access to the base 44 platform now this takes a minute but you know I mean the power of what we're doing here we're developing an app in about five minutes time uh, this used to take a year or two ago. This would take six months. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like the time of AI, the, the AI capabilities that we have at our fingertips today are 
um, mind-blowingly powerful, right? And it's it's just a tool in a toolbox, just like a hammer or a screwdriver. Um, you got to know that these tools exist and also understand how to use these tools. Okay, as you can see, we are going down the Create an Elegant Restaurant Ordering app, editing menu items, order ent entry, um, editing menu page, card component. So it's giving me all of these like modules to update the menu in the category and the card page. Editing card items, editing checkout page. Now once this app is complete, I'll need to go in and set up my own API connections for the uh, credit card processing. And um, there are many available with the Base44 app. And we're getting close. Now, like I said, this sort of tool is just mind-blowing, right? Like, I can build out um, restaurant apps and basically just dial those in with the logo and menu per restaurant, right? And then either use the same app or build, you know, eight of these and offer, you know, options of eight to restaurants all over the country, right, as an agency. And... You know, every restaurant, any way that restaurants or any business can funnel their audience directly into, um, you know, their business without going through Google or some platform that offers like advertising, you know, you're going to get more of your business. There's going to be less um, clickaways into ads or ad videos or social media, that sort of thing. Um, and then, of course, you know, when it comes to restaurants, just the ease of use, right? Like when you're ordering on DoorDash, um, you have ads and options all over the place with DoorDash, right? So, yeah, you may get some business, but, you know, it's a competitive marketplace to where, you know, other restaurants may just look better than yours or be doing a better job on DoorDash than you, in which case they are going to earn that business, but if you can take your customer base, have them download your custom proprietary app, um, and you know they're just two or three clicks away from ordering their favorite meal from you, uh, that is a huge win for any restaurant around the country. Boom. All right, our app is created. Let's go over what we've developed. Okay, so here we have the preview, our menu. Now, of course, these menu items are, are pulled from AI. Um, we would want to build these menu items specific to any restaurant that we're working with. Um, and these are categories. This looks really nice. You can change the color scope around. And I like how it's split up by category. All items, appetizers, main course, desserts, and drinks. And you can add to cart. Oops. Now, just like with any app development, you have to kind of work out the bugs. Okay, let's pop on over to our workspace here. Um, this is going to give you like the, the framework of your application, right? Your overview, your users, your data. Um, data is where you're going to set up your menu items, right? Analytics, uh, you're going to be able to get full analytics on the use of your app, who's ordering what, how much. Um, you can set up your custom domains so that there's a website that supports your app. So you have an application on iOS and Android as well as a custom domain where people can go and order from the website. Everything is, um, everything is scanned and secured. You can do custom code, um, custom layouts. API connections is where you're going to connect your, uh, your checkout. Custom logos. Say if I wanted to um, customize this app specifically for a pizza parlor, then boom, I'm popping in their logo, 
going up to data, popping in their menu items right here, and this can be done through an Excel file, as you can see right here with this button. Uh, and then app settings, you know, you can make it start on a main page, app visibility, platform badge, which is available once you get up to um, uh, certain levels of use. But, you know, if you're using this for business purposes, uh, you know, there is a cost involved, right? It is way lesser of a cost than actually developing your own proprietary app from code. I can tell you that right now. And uh, it's going to take about three to six months less, right? Like I've done this in, you know, 10 minutes time. Email password authentication. Yep, we want people to be able to log in. You can clone this app. So if I'm selling this to restaurants, I get this one app dialed in for a restaurant. And I sell it to another pizza, pizza parlor or pizza place. Clone it, boom, bounce it out, change the menu, change the logo, and I've got a new app for a new client, right? Okay, and then, of course, delete app if you if you want to start over completely. But there it is. There is a, uh, a quick overview. We'll go back to home of Base44. It's a brave new world. You can develop applications for anything you want, whether it's a service-based business, B2B, e-commerce, restaurants, or anything like that. Uh, if you want to use Base44, click that link in the description below. That I hope you get set up. And let me know if you have any questions. Uh, I'm diving in, you know, headfirst into Base44. So uh, if you have any questions about getting stuck or how this works or um, you, if you want to see some uh, examples of my work, uh, go ahead and shoot me a message, a private message, and I'll be happy to work with you on that. So thanks for checking out the video. Y'all take care.